A very warm welcome to PCE Instruments, your manufacturer of test and measuring instruments for industry, trade and research. PCE, professional calibrated equipment. Hello everyone, welcome to PCE Instruments. My name is Lukas Ludwig and I would like to introduce to you the platform scales today. The platform scales refers to a series where the platform in relation to the whole system relatively are large. Where for example the measuring unit is separated from the platform. The platform scales are available in a weighing area between from 1 and a half kilos up to 600 kg. The platform scales are mostly either on a table or set up on the floor. You can see here a small choice of our platform scales where we have platforms between 20 times 20 up to 60 times 60 on offer. The display or evaluation unit is mounted on a tripod. This makes it possible for a good viewing and the usage of the platform scale when something on the platform scale stands upright. Furthermore, when you have this platform scale set up on the floor you have a comfy usage height. The other evaluation units are mostly mounted to a cable and allow the possibility to set them up on a table or for example to be mounted onto the wall. I would now like to go into the possibility of the two different setups of the platform scales. You can see here the single point solution and the two scales here the multi point possibility. At first you can see the difference in the installation height and what it means really I would like to show you now. First of all we take the single point version and take the weighing plate away. The weighing plate can be of different materials, in this case it is stainless steel, but it is also possible that this plate is made of wood, plastic or is made of other materials. As you can see here, underneath the weighing plate for one the upper frame, this upper frame has also contact points and is relatively built stable so that when the weighing plate lays on the load does not slack. You can see this very well with these scales which are for heavier weights, there the carrying frame is much more stable. Now that we have taken the weighing plate away we can see clearly why it is by this solution a single point solution. What is meant is the weighing cell, in this case is only one weighing cell which is mounted in the middle of the platform. This solution makes demands on the weighing cell and through wrong loads can be damaged. But through this an exact measurement can be done, which is by many weighing processes important. To prevent damage, oversized cells are built in. In this case we have a scale which has a maximum load of 1.5 kilos. For this weighing system we use though a weighing cell which has a maximum load of 6 kilos. Additionally to the oversized measuring cell, on the corners of the scale screws are screwed in which make a mechanical travel limitation. This precautionary measure this precaution should help to ensure that the level forces do not damage the cell in the decentralized position of the load. So further the load is away from the center of the platform so that the leverage forces act on the cell located in the middle. That is why the single measuring cells have a definite platform size which the scales can work without being damaged. We can with this single point solution have a platform size of maximum 80 times 80 centimeters. By some scales these adjustment screws are used as transport security. These are turned to the maximum height so that there is no movement between the top and bottom platform. So that no force works by transporting onto the cell. That is why it is important when becoming this single point solution to test if the top platform and the bottom platform have a free movement and the force is only going over the cell. 
The bottom carrier frame has so to say the same task as the top carrier frame. It has to make sure that the force applied is stable and that the scale doesn't contort. Additionally, we have here leveling feet to level, level out the scale at the place of work. To align the scale, these single point solutions have a built in level with the help of the leveling feet to level the scale. Now we come to the multipoint solution. These scales are built so that it is not that easy to look inside of them. That is why I have prepared something. The platform of this scale, it is the PP series, which I have prepared before to dismantle easier. In this case, we take first the weighing surface off. and see underneath a carrying frame which stops the weighing surface pull out of shape. When we take the carrying frame off you can see then what we by the single point version do not see. You can see here four single weighing cells which are spread out into the corners of the platform and record the load at the same time. By the single point solution it is only one. By the multi point solution we have four weighing cells which are distributed in the corners of the platform scale. These single corners are wired up together and a single signal is put out to the evaluation unit. The problem is though that I have here four signals and have to bring these four signals to a result. This works through either match measuring cells or with the help of resistors in this electronic. If I do not do this aligning, it could be the displacement of the load from corner to corner. And I get different measuring results. The cells are much smaller because the load is distributed onto many points. But this construction type does not reach the measuring exactness as a single point solution. The platform with the measuring cells are only part of the weighing system. The measuring signal of the measuring cell lays in millivolt area. And for this we need a measuring unit which strengthens the signal's filters and then evaluates. Depending which measuring unit are different measuring exactness and functions done. Here we have for example a 150 kilogram scale which has a resolution of 50 grams. That means by laying a weight onto it, the weight gain or loss is done in 50 gram steps. This scale here is a 30 kilo scale which has the single point solution. Here's the special feature that we have a two area function and what that means I will show you now. The two area weighing function means simply that the maximum load, the 30 kilos, is divided into two weighing areas. You can see here that we are in the bottom area with a resolution of 2 grams. Through the weight gain or loss happens always in steps of 2 grams. The weighing area of 30 kilos is in two areas, which means the limit is by 15 kilos. We go over the 15 kilos and see that the increase is not in 2 gram steps but in 5 gram steps. That is then a two area weighing function. Think about please, the resolution of the scale has nothing to do with the measuring exactness of the scale. By not calibrating scales, you should pay attention to the technical specifications. Is this not explained explicitly? You have to go to a FIST formula. The FIST formula means that 3 to 4 times the measured formula is a possible measuring uncertainty. By this scale, with the measuring resolution of 50 grams, we had then a measuring uncertainty of maximum 200 grams.
By the 2 area 30 kg scale, we have a resolution of 5 grams in the top area, so that you have a measurement and certainty of up to 20 grams. By calibrated scales, it looks like that the measuring resolution and the measuring uncertainty, for example the calibration value, are equal. The indication of the measured results in the display is the one thing. The other thing, which are done by platform scales, are the additional and also optional interfaces. The most platform scales have an interface which is standard on board and gives you the possibility to transfer the values to a PC or to a printer. Further interfaces are for example analog interfaces, respectively switch interfaces where you can with set limited values switch relays and start processes. By this model here, we have a built-in 4 to 20 milliamp interface, which I will show you now. Here we have a platform scale which has a 4 to 20 milliamp interface. That means when the scale isn't loaded, with 0 grams shown in the display, we can see at the exit around 4 milliamps. By putting load onto the scale, not only the value of the weight changes, but all the analog interface. The 20 milliamp are only reached when the maximum load of the scale is reached. In this case, it is one and a half kilo. As you could see, the analog signals bear proportional to the weight. It was the it is with the analog exits, not to 10 volt, as is in our case, 4 to 20 milliamp. From a standard interface, respectively, of a standard signal, which you can find in many applications. Through this, it is easy to integrate these platform scales into existing applications. By the choice of the proper platform scale, it is first important to determine the measuring area, as well as the measuring exactness. Depending on the measuring area, can naturally the measuring exactness be influenced. And depending on which fact is important, you have to see that you eventually get a compromise. Another important action by the choice of a platform scale is naturally to establish the platform size. This depends on your goods to be weighed. You should make sure that the measurements of your goods are around the same size as the platform. Think about by this that the single point solution that the leverage is to be avoided. By all scales applies though that the side forces as well as shear forces should be avoided so that the measuring cells have a long life. One possibility is to use a rolling rack. This would be built onto the platform scale and stocks the friction force onto the scale. For the choice of the corresponding evaluation units, it is also important to know what happens with the measured values. Then you should look if the corresponding evaluation unit has the appropriate exactness, function and offers the right interface for your weight. I hope I could give you a small insight about the platform scales of the functions of the shown here units, I will not go deeper into further technical data of the theme platform scale you can find on our homepage at www.pc-instruments.com Discover and order the latest measuring and test equipment now on www.pce-instruments.com